petty face. Hi everyone and welcome back or welcome to my channel if you haven't been here before. And if you have, then thank you so much. If you haven't, please subscribe. I'm desperate. Well, I'm not, but it would be cool if you would subscribe, you know? That would be nice. My English is not going well today, I have to say. It's not going well today. For the grammar police out there, I'm really sorry. Today is one of my off days when it comes to my language. <laughs> I'm honestly the queen of awkward intros, but anyway, let's skip this intro. <laughs> as you can see, I already have my foundation and concealer on, and as you can probably guess from the title, I will be trying out some new Fenty Beauty uh, products. Products. So I picked up obviously the cream bronzer, the cream blush and I also picked up a new gloss balm shade which I'm really really excited about. I already have the original Fenty gloss balm in Fenty Glow. I really love this uh, gloss formula and that's why I decided to pick up another shade. So it's basically the clear one. Look how pretty. So I knew that I loved this one, so I decided to pick up this one. And now I have two of these babies. This is the What It Do Makeup Refreshing Spray. So it, it's a beautiful, almost like lavender -y bottle. <coughs> ASMR. Look at that! So today, um, the focus is mainly on the cream products. But I will also be trying out the spray and the glass slipper one. So the first product that I want to try out is the Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Bronzer. The cream bronzer in short. Uh, so this is what it looks like. Let me... Wow, this is highly reflective. I hope my camera catches it. So this is uh, the cream bronzer, the packaging of it. And this is the shade. So I picked up the shade Butter Biscuit. I hope I say that right. So Butter Biscuit. <laughs> yeah, so I picked up the shade because it's the fairest shade, like the fairest bronzing shade in their range. You have one that is lighter than this, but it's very grey. And it's actually meant to be like a contouring shade, not a bronzing shade. And I don't really contour that much anymore because I don't feel like it like suits my face and stuff. So I decided to go with this one. So this is the swatch of Butter Biscuit. Let me just zoom in. So that is the swatch of Butter Biscuit. And as you can see, it's very, very dewy. Look at that glow. Look at it. Look at it. Okay, so for the face, I'm actually going to do bronzer and blush and all of that in two ways. So I'm going to do one side with a sponge. One side, I'm going to use the brush. I'm, I think I'm going to use the brush here and the sponge here. Okay, so I'm going to zoom you in. <coughs> oh, shit. That's pigmented. That's kind of pigmented. Oh, shit. I didn't expect that. It looks... Kind of pretty, but interesting. <laughs> I decided to zoom out because my lighting was going fucking crazy. Um, first impressions with the brush, I don't know what to say, but this looks impeccable on my skin. What? There's... what? <laughs> I'm always a little bit skeptic when a lot of people talk about one product and it seems like absolutely fantastic. I'm always a little bit skeptical when that happens, but this looks so natural on my skin, dear god! It's not emphasizing any texture, it's looking really, really natural. It's like it's a part of my skin, that's really insane. I'm gonna zoom, zoom you in at the end so you can see everything, but yeah. Wow, I really like this. I'm gonna add a little bit more because you know what? Let's be let's be bronzy today. So that's it for the brush side, and now I'm gonna take my sponge and I'm gonna do the other side. I almost never show this side of my face because I don't like it, by the way. <laughs> so I'm gonna take my sponge, dip it in. That was a lot.
So this is my face with the sponge. I think it looks pretty much the same as the brush side. I do feel like with a sponge it looks a little bit less noticeable, even less noticeable. This one already looks very natural on the skin, but I feel like this side looks even uh, more natural like it's less noticeable that I'm wearing bronzer here. So that's the cream bronzer now it's time for this cream blush. So of all the shades that were available on the Sephora France website I decided to go with the shade Petal Popping which is this one. So that is the swatch of Petal Popping. And again, you have that sheen to it. Let me try and you see you have a little sheen. I feel like this type of shade could be a little bit too pink on me or, you know, whatever. But I, I saw it on a lot of people and it seemed fine. Like I fell in love with the shade on other people. So I decided to go for it. So on this side of my face the brush and on this side of my face the sponge and we're now going to apply the blush. I'm only gonna apply a little bit because in all honesty I'm a little scared. So with a brush, this is really, really beautiful. I was a little bit, you know, I wasn't sure about the petal popping shade. This is such a different shade than what I normally go for. I go for the like warm, orangey, browny nude. Uh, and this is kind of intense for me. Having said that, this is beautiful on the skin. I really like this color because it is very similar to the color that I normally flush. So now that we have the blush with a brush on this side, um, I'm going to take the blush and my sponge, you know, the clean side of my sponge, and I'm going to apply it to the other side. So again on this side where I apply the products with a sponge, I feel like the blush is less noticeable, so a little bit more natural uh, in terms of color and pigmentation. I like the side with a brush and I like the side where I applied it with a sponge. So for me, in, in terms of, you know, application and the tools that you use, there is not a lot of difference and I like both sides. So quickly moving on with the rest of the face, so for highlighter, as I said, I'm gonna use this Kilowatt uh, Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal Highlighter Duo and I'm gonna use a combination of these two shades. This is the powder product. I don't feel like I need a lot of highlighter because the cream products already give a really nice you know, dew. I'm gonna take the Fenty Beauty in the Sun powder bronzer. Look at this. Look at this. That's pen. Pen people. I had I hit pen on this. And I'm gonna take that I'm gonna take that real technique setting brush again and I'm just gonna apply a little bit of cream bronzer in the crease. I'm gonna do my lip product, well, I'm gonna do the rest of my face, so that is brows and mascara, <laughs> basically, and I'll be right back. I wanna continue with the other product that is not really the main focus for today, but the Fenty Beauty uh, Gloss Balm in the shade Glass Slipper. By the way, I love the name Glass Slipper. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. I hope this can focus because... Sometimes the camera decides not to focus on so much gorgeousness. I apply a little bit of uh, lipstick, but like the slightest hint. This is a uh, this is ColourPop. What's your sign? And then the clear gloss. Mm. Yes. 
So before this, uh, before I start this video, I already decided to kind of hydrate my lips a little bit with this. And I do have to mention that I feel like the clear one is slightly like a, a smidge, a smidge. Uh, thicker than the original gloss bomb for me this one is just a little bit thinner in consistency but it's hardly noticeable anyway um, um, oops I'm really happy that I have the clear one right now and this beautiful fancy glow one and I feel like I'm going to wear the clear one a little bit more probably so before I apply the Fenty What It Do setting mist, I am actually going to zoom you guys in so you can see what the entire face looks like, uh, especially especially the cream and bronzer, cream and bronzer, the cream, bronzer and blush on my skin. So this is what the cream and bronzer looks like on my face. Obviously, you have the dew from um, <laughs> you have the dew from the highlighter that I put on yeah so this is the finished face with the highlighter the blush and the bronzer I personally feel like the blush and highlighter looks really really natural on my skin I love the way it blended very easily um, and it looks, it's just, it's so natural on the skin, that's what surprises me the most and that's actually what I probably love the most about this product right now. <laughs> okay, so final product now and then I can round up this video because for some reason I always make my videos so long. So this is the Fenty Beauty What It Do, you know, like doey, do, doing, you know, you get it. So this is the Fenty Beauty What It Do Setting Spray. Should prep the skin, refresh makeup, instant hydration and fix on the fly. There we go. <laughs> so let's spray this face. Mm. Mm. I love that. <laughs> um, I think my skin looks really, really nice. The mist is incredible. But this is obviously a product that I will have to continue using to see what it does to my skin, you know. <laughs> uh, so to round up, the spray is really nice, really fine mist, and I feel like it really does a wonderful job at rehydrating the skin. The Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in Glass Slipper is a little bit thicker than the original that I own, but still nonetheless, it has a beautiful sheen. It's very comfortable on the lips, and I love the fact that I have a clear one, and obviously, packaging, beautiful. The cream bronzer is amazing. I love the shade Butter Biscuit. I feel like it's really nice on my skin tone. Um, I was expecting this to be a little bit too dark but I'm actually surprised by how it is not too dark. <laughs> uh, it blends really easily, it's not too pigmented in my opinion, it can be built up and again it looks really really natural on the skin. And then the cream blush, I know this is so small but I, I saw some people saying that the blush is really really small. I kind of like the fact that it is kind of cute and it's kind of small and it's kind of cute and you know, I don't know, that's something I think, I think that's personal preference. It's something that I personally really like. Uh, so the cream blush in Petal Popping, first of all, I'm really surprised with the shade. I love the shade on me and I didn't expect that at all. I think I'm going to wear this a lot in the summertime and the following spring months. <laughs> Same with the bronzer really. Um, the formula is very easy to blend. It's very sheer but can be built up if you want to. And again, it looks extremely natural on the skin. It doesn't emphasize texture. It looks like my skin so i love these <laughs> if you are somebody that is looking for cream bronzers and you're really interested in the fancy beauty line in general uh, but in particular in these products and you've been wanting to try some cream products i highly recommend these i think they look extremely gorgeous on the skin and if you have dry combination or oily skin i think 
you can find a way to make this work and not you'll you'll not be disappointed <laughs> i hope you kind of enjoyed this first try out slash first impressions of the fancy cheeks out cream blush and bronzer um obviously also the mist and the new gloss shade <laughs> that came out really difficultly Dif difficulty wow okay my english is practically gone so i will have to say goodbye to you guys and hopefully i will see you in the next one please don't forget to subscribe like or comment or whatever you want to do and i'll see you next time bye